Students are on fall break, but that doesn't mean learning is put on hold. This week, the Manoa Heritage Center is keeping kids busy with their first annual hula camp in Manoa Valley. Kamakapili stopped by to see what it's all about. Well, with this fall break for kids, first of all, we didn't have that as, as, as kids, so lucky you guys. But also lucky because during this time here at the Manoa Heritage Center, they're putting on their first annual hula camp, giving Keiki the opportunity to dive into that culture art of hula and learn all about it. And to find out more about that, we're here with the Kumu Hula who's instructing this, Kumu Hula, Michael Pilipang. Thank you very much, Kumu, for joining, allowing us to be here and, and joining you. Now, this first annual hula camp, where does the inspiration come from? put this on for the first time? Well, I think it's all place-based. You know, Mano is a great opportunity, this Mano Heritage Center where you have plants outside, you have the gardens, you have the, the hall ready for kids. And being a hula teacher, we've come up here many times since Mary and Sam, when Sam was uh, alive, inviting us here to enjoy the grounds that I brought my halal many times here, that I thought it would be a really great opportunity to just introduce hula during this week for kids. And with these young kids, I mean, we walked in when your class was still going on, and they're very receptive to it. How has the reception with these kids been? It's been a lot of fun. Most of these kids came with no hula background or maybe just one or two classes that they've taken during May Day. And so they've had to learn from ground zero with us. The whole idea is to create a classroom without borders. So how beautiful that we can talk about this house that's right behind us. We can talk about the kuka or, or the heiau that's right there. We talk about the flowers that are blooming and the fragrance. So it really is that idea of everything we see, hear, smell, taste, touch, and feel. And that's a great thing to teach our young keiki. Now, for those who may be inspired and interested now because they hear about this, this is actually going on to the end of the week, but it's already filled. F but you teach. If people want to find out more about hula through you, how can they do that? Well, we have a website for my own halal. It's artofhula.com. But we're also putting together a hula uh, workshop coming in November, the 21st, 22nd, 23rd of November, uh, down at the Blaisdell. Uh, you can go to paifoundation.org. Uh, it's a collaboration between three halals, three kumuhulas, myself, Vicky Ho Takamini, who is the lead uh, kumuhula on this, and Robert Casimero. Uh, we've gotten together about 15 to 20 kumuhulas that we're putting on workshops throughout the week. And you can find the website and the sign-up sheets there uh, to join us. Right on. Thank you very much for everything that you do, Kumu. Now, here at Manoa Heritage Center, every last weekend of the month, they also put on cultural workshops. So check out ManoaHeritageCenter.org for all of those great events happening here in the beautiful valley of Manoa. Kamakapili with KHON2 News. Back to you guys in the studio.